And what we see here in front of us is a, um, is a bullet trap. It's a piece of steel welded up at an angle to capture the bullet. And if you look close, you can see lead smears inside of it where previous bullets have hit it. And what we've done, we built a stand for it. In front of the stand, we've got a, a jig to support the barrel. The barrel is, is supported fore and aft. And now we're going to touch off the charge using a cannon lighter pistol. Here you can see what two brown best sized round balls look like before and after being fired in the proof testing procedure. You can see that they've um, become quite flat. And uh, when these came out of the trap, they were quite warm from the friction of the lead compressing. As you can see here, we've got the barrel set up in a, um, in a rifle, uh, rifle holder. And the reason that we set it up this way is so that we can measure it consistently. Each time we'll set the barrel with the vent side down. This way here, when we measure it, we're going top to bottom for that dimension. So we've made marks. First we'll measure at the breech, where the breech plug contacts the barrel at one inch, two inches, five inches, and so forth. We've never had a barrel change dimension upon proof firing. And to the British system, there is a certain amount of, of dimensional change that is allowed. But in my experience, we have never had a barrel actually change dimension because we're looking at modern steels and so forth. In the Italian system, the, uh, the proof law requires a charge of 30% over the service load. Since what we do in America is to double load the barrel, that's 100%. Uh, increase over the service load. So this is actually a uh, more powerful test that we subject these things to than what um, than what they subject them to in Europe. Now uh, this barrel will have to sit here for a little while to acclimate to the temperature because a temperature change from uh, cold New England weather outside to the relatively warm shop inside that will change the dimensions of the barrel. What we're going to do is let, let it sit here a while and then remeasure it and record the data. Now that the barrel has been measured, proof fired, measured again, and cleaned, now we're going to mark it with our, um, with our own unique mark that tells us that it has been uh, proof fired. And there we have it. There's our stamp right here. Now it's time to reassemble the gun, box it up, and ship it out to the customer.